Hello everyone. Let's start with the topic of subtraction of unlike fractions and introduction to this. Now, uh, when you practice, usually you write, try to write your own sums. Uh, let's see uh, if the sum that I've written is going to be uh, a proper sum for me to subtract or not. Now, at this stage, when you are in grades 3, 4, 5, we will uh, have sums where we get a positive result. We don't want negative results. Now, to check this sum, how do I do it? Now, when you look at the sum, uh, look at the fraction. The first fraction says 3 by 7, uh, where the numerator is 3 and the denominator is 7. 3 parts out of 7 equal parts and the second one says 4 by 5 which is 4 parts out of 5 equal parts in fact when you look at it 3 parts out of 7 7 is more than 5 4 parts out of 5 4 is more than 3 you can easily make out that it is a, uh, the fraction 3 by 7 is less than fraction 4 by 5. But still, we can just try and make some comparison. Let's see if we can draw something which... Okay, now let me try and cut it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the total number of parts will be the denominator. And 3 parts out of 7 are shaded. Suppose I take 3 parts out of 7 and shade it. What about this? 4 parts out of 5 are shaded. Now when you look at it, you can see the shaded area on the right side is more than the shaded area on the left. So by using pictorial notation also you can say 3 by 5 is 3 by 7 is less than 4 by 5. There's one more way of doing it. Let's check it out. The second method will be cross multiplication method. 3 by 7 and 4 by 5. Cross multiplication. Look at the direction of the arrow. 4, 7. So multiplication of 4 into 7 will give me 28. 3 into 5 will give me 15 which is 3 into 5. So, you can say 15 is less than 28, which shows 3 by 7 is less than 4 by 5. So, we try to avoid such sums where we have a smaller fraction first and the greater fraction later. So, instead of this, if we make the same sum as 4 by 5 minus 3 by 7, this will work fine for us right now because we don't want negative results. We don't want negative answers. So, uh, just try out some more fractions, maybe 2 by 5 minus 4 by 7 and uh, 6 by 11 minus 3 by uh, 5. You can check which one, uh, which one of these fractions will work fine for subtracting. All the best.